giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shah Bashem Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video. It's going to be a quick video. I'm going to entitle this video They Know That They Are Done. They know that they are done. They shall come down upon you having great wrath because they know if they have but a short time. That was Revelation 12. Anyway, you see here, it's, uh, this is the uh, usdepclock.org in real time. And this is the national, this is what they always go to. They always talk, they don't go into these numbers here. If you understood these numbers right here, you would know that the national debt is not 34, almost $35 trillion. It's well over $200 trillion. There's no way they can pay it off. Eventually, all this is going to go to a zero, go to nothing. When the economy is done, they are done. So, you know, China is going to come in economically along with Russia, the military. You, if you, you know, you read, check out the news, you know that China... China and Russia are, are allies, and those are two powerful nations. The China represents the economic... Look, everything that you buy is from China. I don't give a damn if you go to a car dealership. You get you got an American car. You need to get a, a dealer part, the best part. It's been made in China and probably assembled in Mexico. So very little is, is manufactured here in this country. What made America great... What made America great was the manufacturing. The, we, we, the America, the U.S. Let's say the U.S. Um, they were the biggest exporters on the planet, and that's what makes a country economically strong or rich. The greatest exporters on the planet is China or are the Chinese. And the greatest military as far as ICBMs are concerned, intercontinental ballistic missiles, is Russia. There's a report that if Russia and the United States went to war, a ground war that Russia will lose. But if it was a thermonuclear war, Russia will win hands down. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Anyway, so it says here, anytime anybody speaks about the national debt, they'll say it's almost $35 trillion. Like I said, if you understood these numbers, you understood these numbers, you would you would know. Let me read this here. Wealth-based debt, free, non-interest bearing uh, money issued by the U.S. Tre Treasury. And I believe that's non-interest bearing money is gold and silver. It says uh, in uh, 1862, President Lincoln issued four hundred and fifty million dollars. When I say when when it says dollars, it's talking about dollars in in gold, not fiat currency, directly from the U.S. Treasury. These debt-free, interest-free notes were known as greenbacks, and a greenback will get you. If a twenty-dollar greenback will get you, let me do this. I don't think it's going to come up. Will get you uh, twenty dollars to get you go. Um, let me find that again. The hell. 
trying to find this. Just lost it. Please bear with me. Gotta hit these numbers here, should have came up. Cause I just hovered over it and it popped up. Okay, here we here we go. Here we go. Okay, these are greenbacks. This is uh eighteen sixty two on June fourth, nineteen sixty three, President Kennedy signed executive order one 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 zero issuing four point three billion dollars directly from the US Treasury bypassing the Federal Reserve which is foreign to the US bank these debt free interest free notes were known as silver backs this was this did both individuals where the fuck is it both individuals well Kennedy and Lincoln are the same people Kennedy was uh, Kennedy was here on the earth a hundred years before he came on the scene he was he was Lincoln Lincoln died got assassinated and uh when he came back he came back as a uh, kennedy and he issued the same thing but only the difference is this was called greenbacks and the uh the kennedy dollar was known as a silver certificate and by the way a silver certificate is one dollar in uh, silver one ounce of silver Now the uh, the greenback. Let me see what it was. Bail me for a minute. Let me come over here. All right, let me do this. The greenback. Greenbacks were emergency paper currency uh, issued by the United States during the American Civil War that was printed in green on the back. Okay, so this had to be a one greenback is one silver dollar. Greenback. Silver. Okay, it, was, it had to be in silver because you could see it's... Well, no, let me see something. However, after the Union victory of uh, Gettysburg, the greenback recovered to $131 to 100 in gold. 
what was Greenback and why is it controversial? The Greenback still legal tender were Greenbacks backed by gold or silver. That's what I wanted. Greenback named for the for their uh, distinctive color were the first national currency of the United States. The notes, though not redeemable for gold or silver, were, lo were lawful money backed by the credit of the federal government. Okay, so this was outside. This was killing um, the the elites in Europe. That's why you know, going to the history, I'm not going to go all into it. So it was just a separate money outside of uh, the central bank. Let me go into central bank. First central bank of the United States. The first bank of the U the first bank of the United States well the first bank of the United States was established in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania while the city served as the national capital from now the original capital capital was supposed to be in Philly either Philly Philly in in uh, uh, uh Pen Pennsylvania or New York and it wound up in Washington. Uh, from 1790 to 1800, just before uh, uh, Lincoln, the bank, the bank, Bank of North America, second bank of the United States. Okay, this was uh, 1790s to. Yeah, so this was a national bank. So when when Lincoln, I was going to say Kennedy, when Lincoln established the uh, green the greenback it messed up their money all right i'm not going to go deep into this history but now let me go into the what was it called uh you got the greenback Okay, silver certificate. Let's go to silver certificate. The silver certificate. According to government, a silver certificate was a type of legal tender in the form of paper currency that allowed the owner or holder of the certificate to own silver without physically having the precious metal. Let me go to Kennedy. Nope, let me do it this way. Be for a minute. That's not what I want. K E N N E. The order, there's executive order 11110. The order uh, allowed the sec secretary to issue silver certificates if any were needed during the transition period under President Kennedy's plan to eliminate, to eliminate what?
The order allowed the secretary certificate, uh, President Kennedy, to eliminate silver certificates and use ve uh, Federal Reserve notes. So this bank, matter of fact, let me, I'm sorry, let me do this. Let me do this. Andrew Jackson and the Central Bank. Jackson dis distrust. Let me see when did he According to Federal oh, Reserve okay. history, Jackson's distrust of the bank was also political, based on a belief that a federal institution such as the bank trampled on states' rights. In addition, he felt that the bank put too much power in the hands of too few private citizens, power that could be used to the detriment of the government. Yeah, this is uh, not, <laughs> this is outside of the, the country. Oh, let me see. I want to see something. What was the bank this cr uh, crisis with? Jackson. And he was also known as an Indian killer. Andrew Jackson. Okay, so he came obviously came in long before Kennedy. I mean, not Kennedy, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, Lincoln. And he was the first to, to uh, destroy the uh, the National Bank, which was owned by people outside of the U.S. So he wasn't a sellout. He was for his people. He's for the United States. And that's why they attempted to kill him. And he said something to the effect of, uh, how do you say it? If if I let you continue with this bank, it will destroy 10,000 families. And I would and I would be, in I, if I destroy the bank, it will destroy 10,000 families. But if I let you continue with this national bank, it will, I think he said something like 100,000. So he said he knew that people were going to lose their money. I mean, there's a whole history to that, man. I got to get back into this history. But they attempted. It was one guy, I believe, that had two guns. I forget, six shooters or whatever he had. He, he fired both of them, and they both misfired because the most high was with uh, Andrew Jackson doing what he had to do. But anyway, I went all around the world. To really go into this. So Lincoln was against the European establishment of a central bank ran by your rent, you know, orders coming out of Europe. And the same thing with Kennedy. He came back a second time. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this. Executive order, let me do this. Okay, let me do it this way. Executive order one 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 zero. Executive order one 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 zero was issued by U.S. President uh, John F. Kennedy on June 4th, uh, 1963. This executive order amended Executive Order An executive order is an order from the president. Once he leaves the presidency, you got a new president. He can keep the order going, or he can he can um, repeal that order. 
and bring in new executive orders. That's why it's important to who is the president. See, the blood of a nation is its, is its money. It's its in, in economy. So anyway, I did all of this. I didn't want to make this go long. I did all of this to show you this here. And um, I was I was checking out the video put up by Richie from Boston, which you can't even catch him. Well, you can catch him on YouTube. I think the the site is Jailhouse Overland or something something to that effect, because they take down his videos. So you can find him on, you know, sites like Odyssey. And he had did a a video. A notification came up on Odyssey. And he's, he went into the century, he went into the uh, U.S. debt clock, right? And he said he clicked on this window. But it said something a couple of, about a month before that, but this is the newest thing. It says secret window. Open. Check this out, y'all. Turn on to the new kingdom. Look what they got. They got the uh, the eclipse. I believe that's a solar eclipse. I know this one is a solar eclipse. From uh, August of uh, 2017. Now this eclipse is coming in about three or three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. It was right, literally, literally right around the corner, on April eighth, which is a solar eclipse, that's going to cross these, uh, these countries because they are states are countries, and as you can see, it's a cross there, right? When you crossed out. Now, there's a bunch of towns or areas called Nineveh, but I believe right here. I believe this is called Egypt. Egypt, uh, I've, I don't know what country that is. I mean, what state. But I believe it's going to cross over Egypt. It says something here that I can hardly read. This is supposed to be the Messiah. This is the planet. This is America, as you can see. But you can see it says turn on to the new kingdom. Because Esau is looking for a new kingdom. Now, what does it say in Amos 5? Woe to you that seek, desire the day of the Lord. To what ended it, what end is it for you? It is darkness and, and not light. So they're actually looking for a new kingdom. And they don't realize that this X was put here for the new kingdom that the Most High is going to give us. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to close. Uh, I opened up, I, met, I quoted a couple of scriptures. One main scripture I quoted was uh, uh, Revelation 12. I believe that's 12 and 12. They should come down upon you having great wrath because they know that they have but a short time. They know that they're going down. They know that they know who we are. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. I'm on to the next one. Shalom.